in the previous video i have taught you the paragraph alignment options but in this particular video i'm going to tell you all the paragraph settings which are available in ms word so let's get into the video and directly learn in our ms software <music> So guys, as you can see, this is a temporary content in front of me in my MS Word software. And in order to find the paragraph option, basically paragraph settings, you just have to click on this home tab and the third option will be your paragraph options, right? Basically the paragraph settings. Uh, I've already told you, I've already uh, taught you about these options, then these bullet point options, right? These comes under also paragraph settings. Then we have this spacing option i haven't told you about this right so basically what it does it helps you to add extra spacing or it helps you to eliminate the spacing from your content right how you can do this you just have to select the content and just click on this this drop down uh, kind of thing and just hover your cursor on different different parameters basically right we have this one then 1.15 then 1.5 then 2 then 2.5 and as you can see the content which i have just selected which the content which i have only selected that is getting extra spacing right so this is how this option works then we have this line spacing options if i click on this this kind of advanced setting option will open in front of you but let me just close this one uh, i'll explain you later but before that let me just explain you these two things the first one is add space before paragraph basically if you select the content as you can see here there are spaces before the paragraph this is the paragraph and this is the space this is the paragraph and this is the space this is the paragraph and this is the space so if you want to remove these spaces in one go you just have to select the content go here and just click on this remove spaces after paragraph and if you click on this also you as you can see the preview i'm just hovering the uh, my cursor on this option and already it applied the option as you can see here and if i click on this the option will be applied setting basically the setting will be applied right and if you want to add your option back again either you can go with just control z so that you can undo otherwise you can manually apply the spaces by using clicking on this option right so when you click on this option it will add a space before every paragraph before each paragraph as you can see here earlier it was not there but uh, as we have selected the option which adds space before paragraph that's why it has been added here right so i hope you understood the spacing option right this is the spacing option basically then we have this color theme option basically it helps you to add this kind of color theme Right. We have this multiple options. You just have to select the paragraph and it will add color theme into that. Right. So if you want to highlight something into your content, then this option would be very handy for you. Then if you want to access all the advanced settings, which can help you to manually do all the things according to your idea, according to your preference, you just have to click on this arrow icon, as you can see here. And this is paragraph setting. If you click on this, this kind of window will open in front of you. And this is the same window which you have clicked here, this line spacing option, the same window appeared, right? So both are same. So uh, once this window appears in front of you, basically this window has all the advanced options in order uh, which can help you to properly design and properly align your paragraph right even you can uh, set the alignment from here you can set the outline text from here basically the body text then uh, level one two three three this is the outline level basically then we have this indentation option what this option works this is all basically an spacing option let me just select the content like this then open the settings again now if i increase this You'll be able to see the preview over here as you can see right as i'm increasing it right so if you want to manually align your content then this tool is pretty handy then if uh, you want to align from right then you have to increase this as you can see here the content is getting aligned let me just do two two centimeters from each side 
I know it is very high, but just to show you, right? And if I apply, you'll be able to see that uh, I've got two centimeters spacing from both of the sides because I have do that, right? Now, if I want to go back, just set as default. It is asking that where you want to apply this setting. So I'll be just going with this document only. Click OK. And this is the default setting uh, which MS Word has applied into it, right? So let's let me just go back to my previous settings, which was this, right? Now we have this special options. Special option is basically here we do have two options. The first one is first line, and then second we have hanging. So what is the use of first line and hanging? Let me just show you. You might have seen newspapers, and let me directly show you the example so that you can understand. So as you can see here, I've just searched here newspaper screenshots. And as you can see, when the content starts, when the paragraph starts, it adds, they add some extra spacing in the first line, right? As you can see here, the content is starting from here. So they have added some extra spacing in first line. Here you can see also that they have added some extra spacing in first line. Right. So the same thing you can do in your MS Word as well. How you can do that? You just have to select the paragraph, go to the settings. Now here you have to add special in first line and hit the OK. It will add a extra line here. Right. And then same option. Basically, uh, let me just show you again. In special, the second option is hanging uh, in hanging option. Basically, it will reverse the thing as you can see here is the preview right reverse basically it will add extra spacing in the other lines except the first line if i click you'll be able to see like this right so that's how this hanging option works hanging and basically the special option then we have this spacing uh, spacing option spacing you already know if i show you basically uh, if you want to add increase the spacing of your line or anything you can do that like this, right? You'll be able to see the preview basically, right? This is the preview you'll be able to see, right? So this is basically the spacing of the upper and the lower side. This, uh, th this is not the spacing for the paragraph line. This is from before paragraph and after paragraph, right? You'll be able to see the exact example here as well. If I click OK, the spacing has been added, right? Then if I click again, there are a few more, more options which you can check out. Also, uh, I'm applying all the settings in one particular paragraph. But if you want to apply uh, the settings in all of your content, you just have to press Control A so that the content, uh, all the content can get selected. Then apply the settings, right? What are the settings you want to apply? If I, let's say, I want to align this content in center, right? As you can see, this is the preview. And if I hit OK, all the content will be aligned centered, right? So that's how these option works. I hope you understood the things properly. So I hope you understood the things. And if you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. And if you still have any question or query regarding this, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.